Welcome to the Retirement Education Hour. We're glad to have you with us on the program today. And I should say, Happy New Year. It is great to be back in the studio. We're so glad you've tuned in today. I'm seated here alongside Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. We have a great show for you to launch this brand new year. As you think about retirement, your future, your finances, you're going to want to stay tuned in for what's coming your way. As we kick things off here on the program today, I want to make sure you have some information in front of you. Keep in mind that the Retirement Education Foundation sponsors courses. These are deep dives into retirement planning, and they're helping you get armed with information, helping you feel confident about this next stage of life. And these are taught at major Michigan universities, and we're going to give you all the details on how you can get a front row seat so that you can listen to educators like Kirk and Paul and get that download, the download you need to have a successful retirement. So Kirk, Paul, Happy New Year. You know, with New Year's comes New Year's resolutions, right? And I think you guys have a pretty big one you want to talk about. We do. It's it, and it, I think it's timely. By the way, Happy New Year, everyone. We're we're excited to be back on the air for I don't know. Is this our fourth or fifth year now? We're it's been a lot of fun and and we've helped educate a lot of people and we've driven a lot of people through the charitables program, uh, the Retirement Education Foundation's courses, and it's remarkable the thousands and thousands of people who are attending the class and it's changing their retirement. So it's really exciting. And I, th- I think this, Paul came up with this topic this week, and I think it's really timely. It's really, how do I prepare for a recession throughout our retirements without the fear every time we have one? Because look, everyone needs to recognize there are many who are predicting an upcoming recession. We don't know if we are or we're not going to have a recession, but recession doesn't always equal the same type of market outcomes. It isn't always as bad. It can sometimes be very short. It can be longer, but we know we're going to have through a 30 year retirement, these major market events four to seven times, it's going to happen. So if, if what we do every time we have a major market event throughout our 30 year retirement three, four, five, six times. If every time that happens, we panic or we change our spending patterns, we change our lifestyle. By the way, I know that's what the financial service industry tells you to do is they tell you to protect your principal and and spend less during times of market volatility. There are ways if you properly plan so that you do not have to change your lifestyle, your income, you don't have to protect your principal, by the way. And we're going to teach you why that's just sort of a made up thing for the benefit of the financial service industry, of course, but we want to teach you how to prepare to navigate every time this happens, Paul. And this happens a lot, right? It does. And I I think what you said was the key. I think rather than be surprised, you should expect it, right? What did you say? Four to seven times of your lifetime, right? We went through a period where we didn't have a recession for many, many years. So I think we all got a little lazy. But the reality is every five or so years, four or five years, there's you know historically been a recession. You should expect it. And if you expect it, you must plan around it. And this whole show is going to be how do we plan for recession so you can keep living the life you want to live because that's what everybody wants. And it always goes back to the class and the things that we teach in the class. Paul, you know, one of the things I've learned since teaching our courses, and we've been teaching these courses at all the major universities here in Michigan for over 10 years now, right? So one of the things that I've learned meeting all these people and teaching to these people is that it's not just major market events, particularly as we get older. It's not just major market events that create fear and anxiety. It can be elections. It could be geopolitical issues. It could be many different things that drive fear and what we find is most people aren't prepared to navigate these emotional events, these events that drive these emotions. They're not prepared because they don't have a good, solid, holistic retirement plan that has the ability to pivot when these, not if, but when these events happen. That's why we teach eight-hour courses at all the major universities around Michigan to attend one of these eight hours. These are master's levels courses Okay, these are master's level courses, advanced courses, CEOs, CFOs, uh, CPAs, engineers. These courses are for you. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You know, Kirk, in some ways the premise is simple, right? But I think it's universal. I think we all can agree 
that the best retirement, I, I don't know that anyone would disagree with this. The best retirement is one where you're free of fear, right? I think everyone agrees that once you stop working, the best retirement is one where you don't have to change your spending based on external events. And the only way to do that is anticipation. Your favorite, right? Your favorite word has to anticipate, <laughs> right? You know that. We have to, and we should all anticipate multiple recessions in our retirement. And if we do that and we plan accordingly, we will enjoy our life and be free of fear. The problem is so many people don't, and we meet those people all the time in the class, and sadly, their retirement emotionally is up and down just like the stock market, and no one wants that. Nobody wants Paul, that. Paul, you're exactly right. And of course, we can't eliminate all fear. You can't, right? There's, there are, but at least around financial-related issues. And it's whether you, it's a, a market event or losing a spouse or a, a long-term care illness, whatever the events, sh- they should not be and they should not come to you as a surprise. We know we have the statistics. We know the data. 70% of you are going to have a major long-term care event throughout retirement. We, we have all the data. So if you prepare, plan, and anticipate for things that we know are going to happen, likely going to happen, then we can have a plan in place to pivot and be ready for those events, particularly around the market. See, Paul, most retirees allow short-term market events to drive all of their financial decisions, whether they go on vacation, whether they do home improvements, how much money, whether they go eat out or not eat out. That is not freedom. That's not what you spent 40 years of your life working for you have earned the right to not have to change your lifestyle, every t- financial lifestyle, every time there's a major market event. And it just requires, <laughs> I say just, right? Unfortunately, the financial service industry does not teach this or implement this for people because there's no incentive. And we'll talk about why they don't. Next segment, we'll talk about why they don't prepare people as effectively as they should. But if you want to learn more, To be better prepared for retirement, attend one of our eight-hour courses. They're taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State, Michigan State University, either the Novi or Troy campuses, Oakland University. We also stream these classes live while we're in the university so you can stay in the comfort of your own home. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And this program will return right after this short break. Stay tuned. There's much more from Kirk and Paul coming up on the Retirement Education Hour. We're happy you've tuned in to the Retirement Education Hour. I'm Megan Mozak alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They are both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And as you know, the foundation hosts courses at major Michigan universities that are really designed to help you walk away with confidence about this next stage of life. We want you to have a great retirement. It starts with proper planning, and that means understanding what it takes to retire successfully in the 21st century. We want you to have a front row seat to these courses. They're taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi Campus, also the Troy campus and Oakland University. And you can register online or by calling. It's very simple to do. Here's the web address. It's retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call 800-240-8981. That's 800 240 8981. We want you to get registered today. Keep in mind, these courses, they are offered virtually as well. They are streamed live, and that's another way that you can attend. Keep in mind as well that this very program you're listening to is available via podcast wherever you find your podcast. And speaking of the show, let's get back to the subject at hand today. Kirk and Paul, we're talking about a very specific New Year's resolution. And, you know, it really deals with being prepared. But you say so many retirees are not prepared for the problems you say are surely coming our way. Megan, there's no question. And, and I'll tell you, it, so I, to clarify to some of you listeners who are saying, oh, no, 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 no. I've got $5 million saved for retirement. I am prepared. The one to 10 million, I would argue, are the least prepared for what they 
should and could have. Those with less than a million, those 500,000 and less, they need to prepare, but they're limited to, you know, you, you do have to protect your principal when you're, when you've got less than 500, when you're the average baby boomer retiring with $200,000 saved, there's no choice but to protect your principal. Right. And there's a reason to be fearful and have some anxiety and you might have to change your lifestyle. But that one to ten million dollar person that's in no man's land that no one is really giving them and preparing them for these inevitable issues. We're going to have recessions. We're going to have major market events, many of them through 30 years. We're going to have life events. We're going to have health issues, long term care issues. Spouses are going to pass away. So many traps that all of you, I'm telling you, you're not prepared. And the reason you're not prepared is because there is no incentive. There's zero incentive for the financial service industry to prepare you, right? And I, it, it, it comes down to money, unfortunately. Money and time, which again comes back to money. Remember, the less money you spend, the more money the financial service industry manages for you, right? The less you spend, the more they're managing. That means they make more money. It's not an accident they've taught you to protect your principal. The $10 million, $5 million, the $3 million person doesn't need to protect their principal. My fear for you isn't you're going to outlive your money. My fear is you're going to underspend what you otherwise could have spent because they've convinced you to protect your principal. And all you've done by protecting your principal is protected the financial service and the advisors, the people helping you, you've protected their income, right? Because the less you spend, the more they make. And... To prepare you properly so that you can pivot and have the right account set up for the different market conditions to take your income from and to minimize your taxes and to map it out. It takes 50 hours to build. In our private practice, it takes us 50 hours to build a comprehensive plan. Advisors aren't going to spend that time. Many of them don't have the ability to. And if they have the ability to, do I spend 50 hours building you a plan to prepare you and allow you to spend freely and spend more? Or do I just tell you to protect your principal, withdraw 4%, have a 60-40 portfolio, and then I can spend the other 45 hours, because I only spent two to five hours with you giving you that plan, I could spend the other 45 hours that I should be planning selling the next person the same thing. Follow? And, and it has to be scalable. The more customized a, your plan is, the less scalable the financial service the advisor's practice can be because everyone has an individualized, customized plan that has to be managed, navigated, income coming from different places during different market conditions, pivoting, knowing one, when to take income from which accounts and minimizing taxes takes a lot of time to implement. It's not scalable. It's not profitable. So all of you one to $10 million people get stuck in a cookie cutter, one size fits all solution. If you had $25 million or more, you would have what we're going to teach you in the classes. We teach what a $25 million plus person would have in terms of a retirement plan. We're going to teach that one to $10 million client in a class so they can have it. Paul, I know I, I went on a little bit of a tangent, but I'm really passionate about this. It is well, so self-serving to teach these people these things. Yeah, and I, I think part of the passion also comes from meeting so many people that are older that aren't spending their money because no one showed them how to do it. And all it means is that their children are going to end up with more, but they didn't enjoy the retirement, right? When you see this time and time again, it's frustrating. It's frustrating watching people not spend what they should be able to and could be spending and enjoying the life. And when you see that time and time again, it really is frustrating, right? So you feel passion. You want to help people, which is again, why we started the class in the first place. It's all about giving people freedom. And you're, you're absolutely correct. Our industry does not support that because it's not profitable, not profitable. But this is really about, and this show is about our class is about teaching people how to be free. And as you said, there are many people out there that are just underspending because no one showed them how to, how to build a plan. Yeah, you're exactly right, Paul. Not only are they underspending what they should be and could be spending, they are leaving their surviving spouse in a really bad tax situation, healthcare situation, because again, no one anticipated and prepared for the inevitable, right? And I know you guys read books and you think, oh, I'm going to do an analysis. I'll take 50% survivor benefits and my spouse won't need as much. You don't even understand the tax ramifications to the surviving spouse when the first spouse died. There are so many variables that no one is teaching you and they're not teaching you because it takes 
time. They can't bill you enough. If you only have $10 million, and I say only sarcastically, they can't bill you enough to build the plan you should have. You're going to need to learn to be able to find those very few advisors around the country that can give it to you. But you have to know all the levers. You have to understand what to look for to know if someone's selling you a bunch of promises that don't aren't true or is someone really building you that comprehensive plan. In the next segment, I want to make sure we come back and talk about numbers, your numbers, what you should, could, or what you think you can have. All right. So sign up for one of our eight hour courses. They're taught at all the major universities in Michigan. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity to register. Call 1-800-240-8981 or register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll return. There's more with Kirk and Paul straight ahead right here on the Retirement Education Hour. It's great to be back with financial instructors, Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. This, of course, is the Retirement Education Hour, and we're glad you've tuned in. I want you to know that this program is also available via podcast, wherever you find your podcast. And we also want you to get registered for the foundation's courses. These are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both campuses, Novi and Troy, and Oakland University. Here's how you register. Go online to retirementplanningedu.org. Here's that web address again. It's retirementplanningedu.org edu.org, or you can call to claim your seat. It's 800-240-8981. I want to dive back into our topic with Kirk and Paul here today. We're talking today about how to prepare for a recession. This is our most important New Year's resolution because we want you to live life without fear. And this is so important in retirement because there's no do-overs. And Kirk and Paul, you say all the time to prepare for a recession, you've got to know your numbers, right? Yeah, I mean, step one is is we got to know our numbers. I, you know, we teach a lot of different things in this course around retirement planning, how to invest for retirement planning, but it all starts by understanding what do I need to give me what I want in retirement. From there, what do I need to give me what I want in retirement? We can, we can, you can build a plan, right? And Warren Buffett says you have to be insane to risk something you have for something you don't need. So many of you, in other words, many of you already have what you need to give you what you want. And you're either working longer than you need to, you're taking less money than you can or could be taking, you're taking more risk than you need to, to give you what you want that can only set you back, not forward, right? Retirement, and I don't want to scare people saying that growth isn't important because by the way, we're major indexers. We believe in indexing. It's investing really isn't as difficult as people like to pretend it is. Income planning is difficult though. And knowing when to take income from which type of investment at during different market events is the key. But to construct an appropriate plan, you need to know how if you have what you need to give you what you want. So I'm going to ask all of you as we're going through this radio show, I want you all to ask yourself this, especially those that have one to $10 million of investable assets, because you have enough. Many of you already have what you need to retire and give you what you want. Many, not all, but many. So the question I need all of you to ask yourself is when are you planning to retire? And most of you who aren't retired yet don't know exactly when you would like to retire. By the way, you won't get to always choose when you're going to retire, but many of you won't really have an idea when you can retire. If you know when you're going to retire or you're retired, how much income could you spend? Not how much income do you need, but how much income could you spend? And, and then when, when you retire, do you know which accounts to pull money from when? And all three of those, most of you are not going to have the answers because I know the financial service industry is not going to tell you you can retire. They're going to say, ah, you should be okay. They're not going to tell you, no, you can retire right now. You've won. Then they're not going to tell you how much income you could take. They're going to ask you this question. They're going to ask you, how much money do you need in retirement? If anyone asks you that question, how much money do you need in retirement? You need to respond back to them as how much money can I have in retirement, (laughs) right? 
because you likely can have more than they're going to tell you you can than you if you said I need I need 80 they're going to say okay you're good you can retire if you said I need 120 they may, may still say you're good you can retire but they're not going to voluntarily say oh I know you only need 80 but you could have 120 because that means their income goes down Paul this is a problem yeah exactly I think you're right on and and, and I think I, I do think it's important to sort of differentiate stages of life, right? right? So in the class, we, we, we talk about go-go versus slow-go years, right? And, and I think we all would agree that early in retirement, we may need more money than later in life, right? But I, one of the things that I, I think, you know, you know, you say know your number, and it seems so simple. Like when you started this segment, you know, as I hear you, I'm thinking, well, everyone knows their number. How complicated can it be to figure out how no, much money don't. do you want? For the, but how often do people underestimate it? There's so much bad information out there, and I, a lot of it goes back to need versus want, right? How much do you want versus what do you need? Very different, right? We don't need a lot. We sure want to enjoy our life, right? So the key is what do you want? And again, I would say that early in retirement, you're going to want more than later. And so often people underestimate. And one, one more additional comment I'll say is whatever you figure that number being, try living on it before you retire, right? D don't wait till you retire. If you have time, whatever that number is, try it out. Put it on. Let's see what it's like early in retirement and, and see if it works. And at the, end, you know, at the end of the year, you didn't do all the things you want to do. You know the number was wrong. Yeah, I think that's a really important and distinction. And this is what we teach the classes. Like if you haven't retired, how to prepare and figure this out. When you're done with the class, here's what you're going to know. When you're done with this class, you should know whether you have what you need to give you what you want. You're also going to know how much income you can generate at different ages. So one of the example plans that we walk through and teach people on is a 65-year-old retiring with $2 million. In that plan, they are able to create $160,000 of income increasing for inflation for the rest of their life with a zero chance of outliving their cash flow. It's another thing we teach. The difference between running out of money and running out of cash flow income is two different things, totally different things. So when you come to the class, the things we're going to, before you complain, we're going to, we got to help you understand your numbers and then teach you what the potential is and how to get it. Because most of you should be able to withdraw six, seven, eight, nine percent per year, increasing for inflation starting in your 60s. Most of you can do that. And if you plan properly, if you attend the class, you won't outlive your income and you will protect yourself against long term care events later in life. There isn't a trap that you can fall into if you attend the class and build the plan the way we teach you. It's bulletproof. That's what we teach you. How to pivot, when to pivot, what are the triggers, and how to build it. It's the reason why the class is eight hours. It's master's level course. It's why it's difficult. So many of you already have won the marathon. You've already won this, this race of life to get to retirement, but you don't know you've won. Because you are using a 4% rule or these one-size-fits-all rules that don't even apply to you. It applies to the average retiree with two hundred grand, not the retiree with $2 million. It doesn't apply to you. Attend one of the eight-hour classes at one of the major universities. We're streaming them live. If you'd like to register for our class, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity and go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Back with Kirk and Paul right after this. This is the Retirement Education Hour. We're glad you've tuned in today. Great topic on our show today, helping you understand what could be one of the most important New Year's resolutions you ever make. This one having to do with your finances and looking ahead to retirement, helping you prepare for a recession so you can live your life without fear. Boy, does that sound good, especially as we launch into a new year. We don't really know what's coming, uh, but there are some telltale signs that Kirk and Paul say you should be aware of, and it's time to get prepared. It really is. So they're giving you the tools to do just that. Speaking of tools, a great resource for you are the courses that the education 
that the Retirement Education Foundation sponsors. The foundation puts these on at major Michigan universities. We want you to have a front row seat. We want you to get that download so you can feel more confident about retirement. And again, these are taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Register online, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org, or you can call 800-240-8981. The courses are also streamed virtually, so if you'd like to watch from the comfort of your own home, that is an option as well. And this very program that you're listening to right now, you can listen to it as a podcast. That's right. You can find it wherever you find your podcasts. So, Kirk, Paul, let's get back to our topic today, and that is this important New Year's resolution, preparing for a recession. You know, most of us know tax day. It's in April this year, April 18th. And I want to talk to you about why we should be talking about taxes in January. How can preparing in that area help us be more prepared for a recession? Well, I'm really glad the way you asked the question, right, because I know we put down for one of our segments to discuss taxes. And it may be a little confusing to people. Okay, what does taxes have to do with preparing for a recession and helping to reduce fear and anxiety so I don't change my lifestyle when these events occur? And it comes down to the less taxes we pay in retirement, the longer your money lasts. That's, it's that simple. The less I have to pull out of the market when we do have major market events to be able to maintain the lifestyle that we've created. It's, it's as simple as, as that. The less taxes we pay, the longer our money will last, the more cash flow income comes into our life that we get to enjoy and spend. And there are other variables around something called sequence of return risk, which we're going to talk about next segment, really impacts because of reducing taxes. But, but going going into taxes, Paul, and I know I might have confused a few people there, including myself, but ta- taxes, we spend, we probably spend two hours of the eight-hour course just teaching people how and when to take income from which accounts to minimize taxes. Most of our, cl- most of our, I'm sorry, most of our attendees that attend our courses, the one, at least the one to $10 million clients that attend the courses, they're saving, when they're done with this class, they're going to learn how to save hundreds of thousands of dollars by understanding how to fill the brackets, understanding how and when to take Social Security. 96% of you take Social Security at the wrong time in the wrong way because Social Security impacts the taxation on your R&Ds, your IRAs, your 401ks. It impacts taxations on your dividends and your capital gains. Knowing how to fill brackets, not bump brackets, being able to project out your taxes for the next 30 years to, to run iterations to create the most efficient path for the 30 years to pay as little taxes as possible. That's what we teach in the class. And it helps you to, from taking more money out of the markets when they're down. Paul, you, you I know, know I might have confused some people. <laughs> No, I think it'll help me. I, I, I mean, I, a little. Yeah, no, no. I think, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you pay less taxes, right? You don't have to take as much money out. Your money lasts longer. I think the reality is most people that we meet in these classes, they never thought that there was a way to minimize their taxes, right? They, most people don't realize that this is a huge lever that you can pull that will help your money last longer. And, and I, I think, as you said, it, there's this trickle down. Not only, you know, if you pay less federal taxes, you pay less money to Medicare. You don't, have to, you know, less dividend taxes. There's this trickle down effect, and 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 at the end of the day, if you're if, if think of taxes in, as an expense, right? It's one of the expenses, and if we can find a way to limit one of those expenses, you don't have to pull as much money out of the market. Well, if we have a recession, you're going to feel a lot better that you're taking less money out of the market because you're saving taxes. One thing I do want to say is tax planning is not something you can do overnight, right? You can't tax plan today and tomorrow find the benefits. This is a, something you have to plan for, right? And you want to start planning now for the future. You don't want to wait till you get there. You don't want to wait till the recession. You want to start thinking about it now. Uh, well, be- Paul, I, I, I think you hit something really important. I'm sorry I interrupted, but you got me so excited because you're right. Anyone that does any tax planning, right? first, your financial advisors aren't going to do tax planning, period. They're not going to do income tax planning, 
period. They might try to find the most efficient investments to minimize your taxes from an investment perspective, but not income tax planning. They're going to tell you to go see your CPA. Your CPA is then going to tell you to go back to your financial advisor. Then you'll go back to your CPA and your CPA might do a projection for the next year or the following year to decide whether or not maybe I should be Roth converting or taking money out of my IRAs instead of my taxable accounts and filling a bracket, but not bumping a bracket. But nobody, nobody is going to take the liability on the liability or spend the hours, 10, 20, 30 hours to map out the most efficient tax plan, income plan, income tax plan for 30 years. And that's what we're going to teach you in the class is to help you project out into your 70s and 80s what your estimated taxes will look like then versus what they are now. And then show you for 30 years how to fill the bracket, not bump the bracket, when to Roth convert. If you are giving to charity, when and how to give your charitable giving so you get 100% of the benefits with no phase outs. If you do it properly, you can. Again, it's why it's eight hours. And again, in our private practices, for our personal clients, we spend 50 hours to build a retirement plan. A lot of that's around taxes. If you do it right, you will save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. Taxes and Medicare premiums too, right? Because means testing is done. It, 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 what you pay in Medicare is is based upon your adjusted gross income. So it's a puzzle, and I and I hope some of you got overwhelmed by all the things we were sharing. And I know some of you are too cool or or think you're so smart that you got to figure out. You don't. CEOs, Fortune 500 companies, they're coming to our classes, walking away with oh my gosh. CFOs for Fortune 500 companies coming to the class, walking away. I didn't know how to do this. I didn't realize I could save this much money in taxes. CPAs coming to our class, walking away, saying the same things. Attend an eight-hour class so you're better prepared for retirement. To register, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That is retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. There's much more with Kirk and Paul right after this. I'm here with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler for another great edition of the Retirement Education Hour. We're glad you've joined us today here on the show. We've been talking about New Year's resolutions and one that is incredibly important for this year, 2023, and that is how to prepare for a recession, to live your life without fear. So many of us have this concern over recessions, what's coming down the pike, how do we get ready? Kirk and Paul are sharing with us some great tips and strategies to do just that. You can learn even more when you attend the Retirement Education Foundation's courses held at major Michigan universities. We want you to be there. We want you to get a seat. So here's how you register. You can go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call to register 800 240 8981. Again, 800-240-8981. These are taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. So keep that in mind. If you'd like to stream it virtually, they are streamed. You're welcome to watch that way as well. And if you love podcasts and you want to re-listen to this program, if you missed any portion, be sure to check out this show via podcast anywhere you find your podcasts. So Kirk and Paul, as we're talking about this New Year's resolution, you know, there is one risk out there that tends to go overlooked and it's huge. Tell us about it. Well, any of our regular listeners, and we have a lot, and so you you probably get sick and tired of us talking about this, but this is the number one risk for retirees. The number one risk to retirees, and it's the number one variable that drives performance in retirement. It is not what you invest in that's going to drive your performance. I know that's what you all think. That's what the financial industry has taught you. It's not what you invest in. It's where, where you take your money from and during what types of market events, you, t- you where you take your money from. It's called sequence of return risk, the number one risk. If you don't know what sequence of returns risk is, I'd encourage you to go to our website. We have a white paper. We have interactive calculators so you can get more familiar with this risk. But essentially... In just a couple of minutes, sequence of returns risk 
is when we pull money out of an investment that is down in value. And the more down it is, the more significant the losses are. And then we pull our money out of that account to live on. You are compounding those losses and it takes that much more to recover from. Just think of it this way. If you lose, if your portfolio is down 32%, you need 53% to break even. Right. So if you're if, if we have you have a 60, 40 portfolio and it was down 20 percent last year and then you took five percent out to live on you're 25 percent down. I don't know the exact math, but I would estimate you need about 38, 40 percent to break even. Right. You'll never get there because guess what? Next year, you got to take your money out again to live. You have no time. There is no time if you're pulling money out of those accounts. So you have to minimize this risk, not by reducing your spending, not by not taking income, but by changing the account that you're taking your income from when the markets are down. So in the class, we teach you to set up all kinds of different accounts, multiple accounts. And if the market is up, you're going to take it from this account. If the market is level, you're going to take it from this account. If the account's down, you're going to, market is down, you're going to take it from this account. And if it's really down, we're going to take it from this account. So no matter what the market conditions are, we're not going to change our income that we're taking. We're just changing the account we're taking it from not changing our investments. We're managing the income, not the investments. And you know, this is how you drive performance and retirement, Paul. i sorry to interrupt. And this is how we're able to show people in the class, in their 60s, to be able to take withdrawals at 6 7 8% with no chance of outliving their income. Paul, I'm sorry. I, I no, 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 you, no, no, no. But there's something you said, I think, that needs to be highlighted, if I can. I think intuitively, most people know that we don't like to sell and understand the risk of selling in a down market. I think if you asked, I would say most people say, I, you know, that's not a good idea, right? The problem is 90 something percent of, you know, 90% of the people think the only solution, and you said this, and I want to highlight, the only solution is to spend less, right? So if, you know, if we're in the middle of a recession, the solution is, okay, maybe I won't take that trip. Maybe I won't give that gift. Maybe I just won't take out as much. I think that's the problem. Problem is most people try to solve this by changing their lifestyle, right? The reality is no one really wants to do that, right? You ask most people, they don't want it. They want to keep doing and living and enjoying regardless of the stock market. That's where the class is so beneficial. We teach people, what do you need to do? How do you allocate appropriately so that you don't have to change your lifestyle? We all know there's going to be a recession. There's going to be many recessions. We don't want to change our lifestyle. It's all about allocation. So, I, you know, I, I think it's important that people understand the solution is not to change your life. The solution is learn how to allocate appropriately. And one step, you nailed it, Paul, allocation. But then which allocation, which account do I take the income from? And I want to make sure people hear this. It's not what you invest in or how you manage your investments during times of market volatility. I know that's what the financial service industry is going to tell you. Because that's their only value proposition, that they have a better algorithm or system to manage risk than somebody else. No, 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 no. That isn't it. I promise you. Go read the white paper. Go do, play with the calculators. You're going to learn. It's managing your income, changing your income sources from different accounts, not the amounts, but where they come from. And you ask yourself, why aren't other people talking about this? And you've got to have a little bit of foresight, a little bit, in, be a little bit intuitive and think about how can, if an advisor has a thousand clients, 500 clients, I don't care. How can they manage every one of those clients that has different plans, different needs and different times to be able to make these pivots individualized for 500 individual people? They can't. So they're not going to do it. They know it's the best way to do it, but they're not going to because it is an unsustainable business model for them. It's not scalable. It's not profitable. You need to understand this because you need to be able to know if you are hiring somebody who is doing this or who isn't doing this. And without understanding the levers and all the different types of accounts and what the triggers are to move the income accounts, you will have zero idea and what you'll end up with is a 4% rule. And they're just going to give you enough and they're going to tell you to protect your principal and spend less during times of market volatility. And you don't need to do that. 
You can take your 6, 7, 8% withdrawal rates with zero chance of outliving your income. You just have to know how to plan. So sign up for one of our eight-hour courses. They're taught two evenings or one full Saturday. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. There's more with Kirk and Paul right after this. We're glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, Megan Mozak here alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. Have you registered yet? We want you to attend the Foundation's Courses on Retirement. And this isn't just a a half-hour course. This is an all-day or a two-day course, and it's your choice, but we want you to be there. Why? Because it takes a lot in the 21st century to have a successful retirement takes the right kind of plan and we want you to be ready we want you to enjoy a great retirement so here's how you can register you can go to retirementplanningedu.org that's retirementplanningedu.org or you can make a phone call to 800-240-8981 here's where the courses are located the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi or Troy campus, and Oakland University. If you'd like to stream these courses, you can do that. They're streamed live for you. Your choice, but call today or go online to get registered. And we are glad you've tuned into the radio show today. This show, by the way, is also offered by podcast. So wherever you find your podcast, you can find this show. We hope if you'd like to re-listen, you do it that way. Now, Kirk and Paul, as we've talked today about New Year's resolutions, and this one specifically, to try to prepare for a recession so that you can live without fear. You know, panic, fear, it's natural. We're human, right? We're, we don't like recessions. Um, but you say a plan is a great antidote. I've got to ask you, though, what exactly is a plan? What's it made up of? So anyone, again, listening to our show on a regular basis know we sort of walk through what a plan is. But today I I, I want to challenge some people a little differently. Look, Paul and I, along with the other instructors for the Retirement Education Foundation, it's a charitable program and it is designed to educate people. We are not soliciting people. So therefore, it's not about building the relationship and you guys liking us. So you'll notice on our shows or in our class, we'll challenge some very successful, really bright, people in their beliefs of what they think is going to be successful in retirement. And we challenge them and we can challenge them because it's not about being your friend and then trying to sell you something. It's about educating you. And you you, got to hear us when we say we have done this and taught thousands and thousands of people in our private practices. We're responsible for over $2 billion. And this is all we've ever done is done retirement planning. This is a master's level course, and I'm telling you, you one to ten million dollars CEOs, CFOs, engineers, all the people that tend to it seem to be attracted to our class and attending our class, you are not prepared to navigate the major market events that you're going to be confronted with in retirement. And as a result, no matter what your wealth is, you're going to have fear, anxiety, and your behavior is going to change and impact your retirement every time we have a major market event. And the reason why is because you don't truly have a holistic retirement plan, a real, not an e-money or a money guy pro or this cookie cutter program software that spits it out in 30 minutes to an hour and an intern plugged in your information. That is not a plan. Go to our website. You can see what a plan is. Go to the classes. You're going to learn what a plan is. Paul. Tell them some of the things that that is incorporated into a real comprehensive 30-year plan. Well, I think we've mentioned some of the key points of this, right? You know, I think early on you talked about long-term care, right? As we age, health is a big issue. And if you don't plan for, you know, aging issues, it's financially huge impact, right? What did you say? 50% of of people are going to end up needing long-term care. There's a cost to that. Is it 70? 70. 70. 70 oh my god 70 right taxes i think most people would agree taxes are probably going up most people would say taxes are in fact are on sale if we can do tax planning means we spend less means our money lasts longer right income planning we talked about sequence of return risk how do we make sure that we're taking money out of the right accounts or we have accounts that we can pivot to so that we're not selling in a down market right these are all parts of planning medic you know medicare planning right? Social security plan. There's so many levers that we need to think about. Obviously, 
investing is part of it. But there are so many levers that we have to consider in thinking about a plan. And if I can say one more thing, the risk of not planning is that people panic. The risk of not planning is the next recession, you go out of the market. You try to time the market. You try to make a decision in the middle of the recession, and you cause more problems in the future. So or you, know, you the reduce key, your spending. Or you reduce your spending. Exactly, exactly. So what we know isn't planning is a beautiful binder that gives you some probability of success. If, you, if that's what you have, that is not what we're talking about. Come to the class, you will see what we're talking about. It is not a beautiful, you know, color-coded plan. It is every year, where are you taking your income so that we don't have the risk that we're talking about? That's oh, a plan. Just, and I was just going to say exactly what, that last thing is, is it's a plan is going to look, think of an Excel spreadsheet, right? But it's going to be a 30 year spreadsheet strategically mapping out where you should take your income from and when to minimize taxes. It's going to give you different accounts to pivot to during different market conditions. It's going to prepare you for the surviving spouse because when one spouse predeceases the other spouse, the surviving spouse goes from married filing joint tax status to single status. So we know that's going to happen now. Years and years in advance of it happening, we plan and prepare and put the right pivots and tax strategies and income strategies in place for when it does happen to minimize those taxes. So it's having a team, Paul, a plan is having a team where you have your wealth manager, your CPA, and your attorney all working together. In our private practice, we act as like a family office, our CPA, attorney, and and we manage the money and build the plans. They're all working together to coordinate that plan. If your team, your CPA and your attorney and your financial advisor aren't working together to map out the 30 years. You don't have a plan. The spreadsheet isn't a plan. They have to coordinate it together to be able. It's like a puzzle, Paul. That's what it is. It's a puzzle. You've got all these puzzle pieces and you have to put them together. Attend one of our eight hour courses. We teach them a full Saturday or two evenings. They're taught at all the major universities, just about every major university here in Michigan. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or call 800-240-8981. Investment advisory services are offered by Strategic Investment Advisors, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.